I am Lord Don Franto Aventina, rightfully betrothed of Lady Josephine Montillier. Songs of your exploits have spread to my city, Inquisitor. It's humbling to make your acquaintance. It is a pity it will not last longer. Before we do, I trust you find the weapon to your satisfaction. Am I not allowed to pick my means of defense? I am the wounded party in this duel. Tradition dictates that I select our weapon. Of course, if you fear you might be clumsy with such a refined instrument, there is no shame in a forfeit. I trust you've made this a fair fight, Lord Otranto. Upon my honor. Shall we begin? An admirable start, Inquisitor. Perhaps House Trevelyan isn't the obscure backwater I've heard it to be. I'm glad Lady Montillier isn't here, exquisite as I've heard her appearance to be. Cutting you down in front of Josephine would have given a poor first impression of House Otranto to my bride. You won't so much as touch her. Neither will you, Inquisitor, unless you- Stop! Josephine. Lady Montillier. What a pleasure to- What are you doing? Lord Otranto and I are settling our differences about your betrothal. That's not your decision. The Inquisition needs you. I need you. Yet you threw yourself into danger. Why do this? Why risk everything we built? Why risk your life? Because I love you. You... You do? He does? I wasn't quite sure until I said it, but... Yes. Yes, I love you. I love you too. Well fought. Lord Otranto. I'd assumed your liaison with the Inquisitor was an affair of passion or convenience, Lady Montillier. But I'm not fool enough to stand in the way of true affection. The Atrantos regretfully withdraw the terms of our betrothal. Thank you. Do not thank me. I know when I'm outmatched. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about arranging the duel. Given that you're in one piece, body and dignity, I forgive you. Just do kiss me again.